RC drones in 2025. I think it's fair to say things have definitely come a long way since I first tried an RC drone. Not all RC drones are the same. Of course, we've got camera drones, which are really good when it comes to recording some really cool video footage. And then, of course, we've got the really cool FPV drones, which are really gaining in popularity pretty much all over the world. Now, of course, I have flown a camera drone before, and those of you who have been watching me since 2021, 2022, you may remember when I used to use a lot of drone footage in my videos. It's not something I do these days, but it definitely added something to the videos back then. Now, let's be honest, when it comes to flying a camera drone, it really doesn't take that much skill. They pretty much fly themselves. But then when you look at FPV drones, things get a little bit more difficult. Now, I have flown an FPV drone before, and whilst I really enjoyed the experience, I still found it to be quite difficult. FPV drones are something I've always wanted to try again, but I've never really known what would be the best option. Thankfully, the guys at Beta FPV got in touch and they said, why don't you give the Cetus X a try? This little thing looks absolutely epic. I do love how you can adjust the camera up on top there. Now, the good thing about these little drones, they're actually very strong. Thanks to the way they're designed, you can crash this thing over and over and it's going to come back fighting. Durability is what you want from a beginner drone because I know myself, I'm probably going to crash this quite a few times as I'm learning how to actually fly it. The build quality on this does feel very, very nice. At the bottom there, we have two 450 milliamp hour batteries. Now this drone uses two batteries at the same time, as you can see there. And there we have the connector on the end. They've also included another set of two in the box, which we'll take a look at shortly. Overall, I'm actually very impressed with this so far. Really good build quality. Definitely looks durable. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, of course, this FPV kit isn't exactly new. It has been around for a while. But judging by some of the videos I've seen online, this thing seems to be one of the best FPV kits for beginners. And let's face it, that's exactly what I am. I am an FPV beginner. So what do you actually get in the box with this kit then? Well, this does come with a very nice carry case, which also feels really sturdy. Opening up the case, let's take a look and see what we've got. So of course, here we have the drone. Here we have the transmitter and the FPV goggles. In here, there's also some other accessories. Let's take a look at these. Here we have some spare props and basic tools. A couple more batteries, USB-C charging cable, a USB charger, which can also be used as a voltage tester. All you need to do is plug a battery in and it will tell you the current voltage. This is handy so you know which packs are charged and which ones are depleted. So here we have the transmitter. Now this thing actually feels really nice. Again, excellent quality. This actually reminds me of a console controller, but it does feel really nice. Of course, there we have the on and off button in the middle. Underneath we have a USB-C charging port and you can actually plug this into your PC and you can use this on all your favorite simulators. Up at the top, we've got some buttons for the flight mode adjustments and of course to arm the drone. Overall, not too bad. So that's pretty much the full setup. Of course, we need to get the batteries charged and head out and see how this thing performs. What I really like is the fact that this thing is a complete beginner package. If you want to check this out in a little bit more detail, because no doubt I've missed some stuff, I will leave a link down below so you can head over to the Beta FPV website. So here you can see me flying the drone around in angle mode. Now this is probably the best beginner friendly mode. The drone will automatically self level when the sticks are released. And this of course prevents the drone from flipping. And it's a great way to learn to fly in a stable horizontal position. I mean, let's face it, I'm really not the best when it comes to flying FPV drones, but this is a beginner kit. I'm a beginner and everyone had to start somewhere. So we know the drone has three different flight modes and I actually really like this. It's a good way for a beginner to progress all the way up to manual mode. And manual mode, of course, is where every FPV FPV drone pilot wants to be because you're in full control you can do flips and rolls and everything else but of course I am nowhere near that level yet so I need to keep practicing now if you're looking at this thinking I'd love to get into FPV this seems like a really good kit to do so but what if I crash that's exactly what I'm thinking at the moment but one of the best ways to actually get some practice before you even plug a battery into this and go out and fly it is to actually have a go on a simulator 
and I did mention it earlier, this thing will work on the PC and it will allow you to practice on a simulator. Now practicing on a flight sim definitely has a lot of benefits compared to actually practicing with the real drone. It's definitely worth putting in a couple of evenings just to kind of get a feel for everything. And of course if you do crash, it doesn't actually cost you anything, you can reset and carry on. Whereas if you crash this and it's a bad crash, you may actually break it. Now I did have a look around to see what FPV simulators are available. Quite a lot of them you have to pay for, but I did come across a free one. It's known as FPV Skydive. Now reading the reviews, it seems a lot of people have actually used this simulator to increase their skill level and of course work their way up to manual mode. Over the last week or so, I've spent some time in the evenings trying to get a feel for this. I've had some pretty good flights and some pretty bad flights, but it's definitely giving me a good feel for how it could actually be on manual mode. And of course, at the end of this video, I am going to try manual mode on the c to sex to see if my skill has in fact improved. Now, this is what I love about the RC hobby. There are so many different tools out there to actually help you. Years ago, none of this stuff actually existed. So there's really no excuse to not get into FPV drones these days. And if it's something you've always considered, well, look at me. I'm investing a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, and I think it's starting to pay off. Now, before we give this thing a go on manual mode, there's one more thing I need to tell you about, and that is the Beta FPV Configurator tool. This thing is incredibly cool. It allows you to make lots of different adjustments to the drone, and it really allows pilots to fine tune various parameters. Of course, to get the very best from your drone. And I actually really like this because some people really do like to make really fine adjustments. If you want to check this out, I will leave a link down below. So you would have seen earlier on in the video that I was actually flying this in angle mode. It's still in angle mode at the moment, as you can see on the direct feed from the drone. I'm going to switch this over to full manual mode now. Of course, you would have seen I have been practicing on the simulator, trying to get my skill level up a little bit to actually allow this to happen. I don't know how this is going to go today because, of course, flying on a simulator is completely different to flying in real life. Is it going to go well? Is it going to go really bad? Who knows? There's only one way to find out. So let's just take off and give it a go. So let's arm the drone. Drone is armed. So this is full manual mode. Yeah, it definitely helps having that time on the simulator. Now it's telling me to land because the battery's running low. I thought I'd get away with it, but no. So let's try and land. Fit the spare set of batteries. And then we'll take off again and try again. Oh, not the best, not the best. Can I land it? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's switch the batteries out and we'll give this another go. Yeah, those batteries don't last very long, so you're going to need to keep loads of those handy. Right, so I've changed out the batteries. We've got two fully charged LiPos in there. Let's see how long this thing actually lasts. That's if I can actually fly up until that point. Hopefully I don't crash. But I did fairly well just before changing out the batteries, so let's give it another go. Now, I think playing on the simulator is definitely helping me as well. So I've armed the drone, and let's go. Now, I'm going to take it a little bit easy, just so I can get a proper feel for it. Not the best conditions today, as you can see. It's not the best weather. Now... Do I feel brave enough to try and do some kind of loop or, or roll? I'm not sure I do, but I think it would be rude not to try. I did have a brief go on the simulator. Maybe if I get some height. The low battery warning does come up when you hit the throttle because, of course, that's pulling quite a lot of power from the batteries. But as soon as you ease off, everything goes back to normal. So let's see how fast this thing is. Yeah, it's quick. It's very, very quick. So we've got the low battery warning again and easing off the throttle there, you can see the warning does go away. Let's see if I can do a roll. Oh! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Whoa! <laughs> now I've got the low battery coming up again. There we go, back to normal. So I'm sitting at around 40% throttle doesn't seem to be any issues flying around whoa <laughs> okay I'm getting a little bit brave now and usually what happens when you get a little bit brave you end up crashing at the very least that's what happens with RC planes 
so I've got the low battery coming up again so I think I may have to land soon so yeah you're gonna have to keep a handful of batteries if you want to fly this thing for an extended period of time but very very cool and a great entry point to get into FPV I mean I'm a complete beginner you can see that the way I'm flying this thing and all the experienced FPV drone pilots are probably laughing at me right now but this is kind of like my first proper attempt at flying FPV I have done it before but yeah I don't think I did very well I think practicing on the simulator has definitely helped me it's given me much better control compared to before right I need to land the battery's running low yeah look at this ah <laughs> oh, great stuff really really good fun so there we go then that was the beta fpv cetus x now let's face it i'm a total beginner but i definitely think this drone has helped me to improve my skill set and of course getting some time on the simulator has helped as well now if you're looking to get into fpv drones of course there's many different options available and things can get a little bit confusing now what i love about this kit everything is included in the box to get you up and running you really don't need anything else and when it comes to analog fpv drones i think this is probably one of the best options of course this isn't one for the more advanced pilots who are looking for much clearer video transmission and of course better control from the drone itself let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below is fpv something you've always wanted to get into have you always been put off by the complexity of it all after seeing what I've managed to achieve today, is this something that you could get into? Let me know in the comment section down below. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. Take care.